Joe, this movie is brilliant. It's look, the concept is very original and it's actually surprising, surprisingly thought provoking. What was it about the original script that spoke to you and how did it evolve from when you first read it to when you saw it on screen? It evolved a fair amount. You know, I auditioned for this project just like anyone else. And it, what struck me is that it wasn't really based on anything. It right. Like, a, you know, it was a completely original idea, which is few and far between. Everything is based on a book or based on some, you know, a game or based on an existing thing or a franchise. And so to just read something where it was just a fresh take was really exciting. Um, but the script really did change um, from uh, the beginning until the end. I mean, there was a lot that uh, really it was just like a lot of collaboration that went on. And specifically with my character, they, you know, developed it along the way to um, I, without spoiling the movie, I think it um, became slightly more central, but also just uh, maybe my character contextualizes things a little bit. Gotcha. Now with Keys, he's a brilliant designer in the real world. Can you talk to me about that character a little bit? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I really, um, I kind of like, I really liked that at the beginning of the script where you find Keys is that he's sort of living this mundane and desolate life devoid of the thing that he really truly loves. So I really liked having that be the starting point that there really is this backstory of this guy who has worked with his best friend, created this game, and then pretty much gotten the rug pulled out of him. Right. So I, I just felt like if that was the starting point and knowing where the script was going, it just seemed like there was a real opportunity to create an arc for the character. And that's usually the most important thing. I feel like when you're looking at any job is making sure that there is a point A and a nice point B. Absolutely. Now, Joe, are you a gamer in real life? And if so, do you view NPCs differently now? Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I've played Grand Theft Auto before, which I think is kind of, you know, probably what this game resembles most. And yeah, I mean, I haven't played anything since I've done this job, but I'm not going to be mean. No, right. I, I yeah, literally I was playing Grand Theft Auto the other day and I left every NPC just completely alone. Just leave them alone. Now, right. Now, you've worked with Sean in the past before with Stranger Things. What was it about Sean that he added to Free Guy with his directing style? Well, Sean is just like a master of uh, creating a really positive and energetic uh, mood and atmosphere on set. And as the director, your job is to really be the champion of the project. And you are just the lifeblood, really, the engine pumping, pumping this thing forward. And he never misses a beat um, creatively, uh, t you know, organizing just the time and the days of the set in the way. And he's, uh, you know, a, a very collaborative guy. You know, it's it's nothing is really lost on him. So I loved working with him on Stranger Things. And he's, uh, you know, I've been able to learn so much from him. So to work on another project with him on, on this different character is like we were able to sort of recontextualize our relationship, too, because I could, you know, you know, we kind of connected through the Keys character. You know, this, I think, is going to be the movie of the summer. So congratulations on the film. It is amazing. It's deeply layered. Believe it or not, it has so much layer to it. But thank you so much for your time, Joe. I, I honestly appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thank you. It means a lot. Thanks for saying that. Appreciate yeah, absolutely. It. Take care, man.